My next guest hopes to change inmates. Welcome, Marth Furkas. And you're talking about federal inmates. You were one yourself and really found out a lot about not only the federal prison system, but what happens to you when you come out and you really are a proponent of change. Yes, Tony, we are. Uh, as you know, I'm the chief information officer for Federal Cure. And we've examined this over-sentencing issue for years in the federal system. And we've came down to the most likely chance of getting some relief, um, which is to bring back parole. A lot of people don't know it, but there is no more parole in the I federal system. I was amazed that you told me that. And you said in Florida state, now we're talking about the state of Florida, there's very little parole for most inmates. Uh, for a violent offense, I don't believe there's any parole in Florida. Wow. But for a nonviolent offense, which is completely the opposite, uh, you have nonviolent people in federal prison, over 5,000 of them serving a life sentence for a nonviolent offense with no parole. Life sentence. Now, nonviolent, we should make clear to people who aren't familiar with the lingo, um, maybe drug, drug charges? Most of them are drug conspiracies where there was okay. no drugs ever found. So, in other words, they weren't caught selling ma marijuana, cocaine, da 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 da. There was just some conspiracy somewhere that the government either used them as informants and then they ended up in prison, that kind of thing? Generally, it's the end of the line where someone is informed on them and or said he did it or he knew. And more importantly, at least in my view, that when you do reenter society, there should be more support, more education, more jobs available. But you said there is a little bit of positive news on that theme. Well, uh, President Bush has done more for this cause than any president since Nixon. He put up $300 million for prisoner reentry because if you reduce prison sentences, either by parole or amending the guidelines, it'll be a disaster if you let people out of prison without any reentry programs, uh, jobs, where to live, especially the long federal sentences where people have served. I mean, we've got people coming out that have served 25 years in a prison. On a nonviolent crime. On a nonviolent offense. They have nothing. Everything is gone. Their families left them long, long ago. Now, how. Think back 25 years ago, what was the world like? Yeah, and you did say, though, that, surprisingly, uh, former President Carter and current President Bush are kind of working together, That's providing jobs, hopefully, through his Habitat for Humanity program, where these guys could be administrators, they could be construction workers, guys or girls, I should say. Thank God. And, <laughs> and this is, I know I said to you, I've had a personal story of someone who came into, into the workforce and by the, by the grace of a friend said, if not for this person, I would be out on the street. So these are not people who have killed people. These are not people who have robbed people, right? We want to make that clear. These are people caught in the politics of the, of the drug war mania in the mid 80s. Now, were. if you want to help FedCure, if you're interested, because we have such a short time on our show, can people, I know they can log on to your website, but is it also good to write your congressman or congresswoman around the, about this? Is that a helpful? Absolutely. I would, I would send people to the website and they could see all the information, how to contact uh, their congressperson and if they want cast the ballot to support bringing back parole for federal inmates for nonviolent offenders we should say i don't want to scare people and and, and we were very specific in the bill that we wrote uh, to be very careful that any capital offense or heinous offense just does not become eligible for parole okay well i want to throw people we did put the website up mark thank we you. could go on all day but thank you for a visit you come back soon okay thank you, Tony.